<laughs> Hopefully the ads are not long for anybody who's popped in. Um, are popping in. That's why I'm going to give it a few minutes before we actually start this one. should be about to finish up rolling out so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one started and we will enjoy the best game opening that we've ever, probably ever had in a video game I'm doing good Mel how's everything going everything been going <coughs> if you can hear me okay but uh, everything's going pretty good on my side just enjoying my day off today I'm actually getting kind of hungry. All right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get uh, round two started. So anybody who's popping in uh, brand new, we just finished Metal Gear Solid 1. We're jumping right into 2. And I'm going to let the game intro do all the talking for me. This is honestly, out of all of them, one of my absolute favorite Metal Gears of all time. The music, the intro, uh... Just everything just cranked up. Also very anime, but that's okay. So, let's go ahead and dive right in. And for once, I won't have to use O for confirm. So, And without further ado, let's do this. And this will definitely be much easier on the eyes than... Uh, than the last one was because oof. oh the music bring me up I played the shit out of this game back in the day This is also the same guy who did a lot of popular 90s action movies like The Rock and uh, I think he also did Armageddon too.
We're home! Alright, let's do this. Alright, let me check my settings real quick. Okay. Uh blood. Captions on, always captions on. never really got through all the way with snake tails back in the day so that's something I'm gonna do on my own this is also the subsistence version of Metal Gear Solid 2 as well so we have uh, VR missions and shit in here as well I was never particularly good at them anyway wait uh... I forgot this was military time. <coughs> oh, really? Oh, well, you're in for a treat then. Yeah, the first the first game is incredibly fun. Uh, the last part of the the last part of the game was a bit of a pain in the ass because I honestly have not played this in over 20 years, at least the first one. So there were bits and pieces that I honestly did not remember, and it was actually surprising that the on rails part of the final part of the game you can actually shoot in first person, which I don't remember that being a thing. But like I said, it, it's been so long ago that. Um, that, uh, either I didn't remember or that might have been something that was added in when they re when they hd these games. But, uh, alright. And then uh, I had to remember how to fight uh, Rex. I actually have watched a couple of speed runs on it, but it's so, it's been so long, and I haven't played this game, these games often enough to really get like speed run strats in. So, but we will get there at some point. I will, uh, I will, I will get better at these. And we're going to be doing obviously the entire game, not in one sitting, but we will be getting through all this. All right. Uh, let's see, radar does not appear during intrusive level. We're just going to keep it on type one. I always kept it on type one. This story is fictional. No shit. The Hudson River. Two years ago. We had classified intelligence that a new type of metal gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses had been out in the cold too long. And we won't be we won't be skipping cutscenes. The codex sequences and the cutscenes might be a little lengthy, but nowhere near Metal Gear Solid 4's length, so. And this was, this was honestly, like, so badass when this came out, because when you go from 1 on the PS1, and then you hop to the PS2, and it's such a huge difference, that it's like, holy shit. Like, this was groundbreaking back for a PS2. You didn't even think you could get, like, stuff like this on the PS2. Then the PS3 jumped even higher. Now, 4 and 5 have kind of 
like fours here and fives kind of like there in terms of some of the graphical capabilities. But they did a really nice job with this HD look. Even if it's not perfect, it still looks pretty good. Yes, same bossy. This was like when I bought my PS2, I bought this with it. My cousins actually introduced me to this game because I had never played or heard of Metal Gear before. So I I saw this and then I eventually went back and I played one and then I got this one. Stealth camo, baby. We can already heal the stealth camo starting to short out on us. that shit. Such a superhero anime introduction for Snake at this point. And I love that they carried over a similar look for, for three. sneaking suit for this one. Like, this is by far my favorite look of any of the snakes. This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? I'm at the sneak point. Everything going okay? Mm, stealth camo's busted. Landing impact. We must have overused it. Sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with it. You're not in the military anymore. Right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. The private sector's not so bad, is it? Privacy guaranteed? I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. You mean that thing with Naomi? And I can't say I miss the chattering nanny. Mei Ling's not so bad. That reminds me, I have to get in touch with her again about that new Natick flashware. Diverting toys from the SSCEN again? Look, give her a message from me. Someone will find out, sooner or later. She's better off assuming it's sooner and quit while she's safe. Too true. Okay, Snake, let's get to work. Everybody by this point you know how the pretty much working underground. were sold on the black market after Shadow Moses? All Ocelot's doing. Exactly. And now every state, group, and dot-com has its own version of Metal Gear. Not exactly a classified weapon for today's nuclear powers. This new one seems to have been designed to wipe the floor with all the other models. The only consistent description is that it's an amphibious, anti-Metal Gear vehicle. That explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. It would have been cool to see other variations of the mission gear. objective is to make visual confirmation of the new metal gear being transported by that tanker and bring back photographic evidence. But I want you first to go up to the top level of the infrastructure, to the bridge. We need to find out where the tanker is headed. A little reconnaissance, huh? There's too much we don't know about this new prototype. Capabilities, deployment method, we don't even know how close it is to completion. If we know where the testing arena is, I can start to draw some reasonable conclusions. All right, I'll head to the bridge ASAP. Try to avoid confrontations. Our goal is to collect evidence on Metal Gear development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. 
Don't worry. I know the drill. We're not terrorists. Very good. Don't you forget that you're part of philanthropy now. An anti-Metal Gear organization and officially recognized by the UN. Recognized, but still fringe, Otacon. Yeah. So they don't have any official backing. This is literally them on their own. All right, let's look at your gear. Your weapon is a tranquilizer gun converted from a Beretta M92F. M9. It's a little hard to work with because you have to reload after each shot since the slide locks. Better than scavenging at the mission site. Good suppressor, too. The chemical stun will take effect in a few seconds and last for hours. You can take down an elephant with that thing. Check out the laser sighting, too. The effects of the anesthetic round will vary depending on what part of the body is hit. We're talking about a difference of tens of seconds between hitting limbs, chest, or head. As for the equipment... Hey, Snake? Cigarettes? What's wrong with you? It's kind of a lucky charm. You haven't read the Surgeon General's warning, have you? Nope, he never did. Didn't Here's decide to quit until camera. 4. Works almost the same way as your old one. <coughs> Instead of binoculars, you just have a straight-up digital camera. Although it works just as well. They don't look armed. Hey, Earth to Snake. These are nice upstanding Marines, not terrorists. Don't get caught. You're in stealth mode here. Sure. And if it comes to that, a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. By the way, Otacon, are you sure of this intelligence? Absolutely. Hacked it out of the Pentagon's classified files myself. No traces? Oh, please. I'm too good for that. But this might be a trap. Remember, there's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. I hope so. Those men, you wouldn't think they were anything but civilians from here. With all the ships passing on the river and in the harbor, putting uniformed marines on the deck would be a bad idea. People can get a clear view of the water from Riverside, too. I mean, how many people the are actually going to be looking like high. really that According close to the, the ship like that? Plans, this ship should have discharged its cargo upriver. It's in there, no doubt about it. The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on a boat. That's SOP for counter-terror ops, too. Security should be tighter. You worry too much. Where's the target? Satellite surveillance is a major international pastime these days. I'd say the cargo holds, safely below the deck. Do you see the entrance to the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew quarters. The chopper. What? I love how cinematic they make the game. Also, if the music and anything is too loud, just let me know. I can crank it back a bit. Looks like we're not the only ones after Metal Gear tonight. Is that a chopper I just heard? Affirmative. Probably another cavalry. Whoosh! It's their game. Hijack? They're probably targeting the ship's controls. Otacon. How many men do you need to take over a tanker of this size? The ship is run by a computer, so I'd say about 18 people. AKS 740. Russians? You sure? No Marine Barber touched that head of hair. All of them just straight up just standing out in the rain, just trying to catch pneumonia. I'm transmitting a photo. Let's get an ID on him ASAP. I'm on it. Looks like the tanker's theirs now. Okay, the lip syncing was always weird. Kasatka? I don't know, I don't know why they chose that, Kill that, whale. that design choice. Because they just like, they do this we and then they just stick the lip syncing they are. in here. Judging by their transport, aren't they some kind of military commandos? Not necessarily. It could be the KA-62, the civil model. Look, Snake, all we need is the photographic evidence of Metal Gear. As long as we have those, we can put it online and blow the whole thing wide open. So no pyrotechnics, okay? All right. I'll do my best. This isn't like Shadow Moses. Reach me if anything happens. 
The frequency's 141.12. How can I check in and save my progress? I'll do it. There's a frequency set aside for it. 140.96. Sorry, but no Mei Ling this time. Call me on the codec when you want to save. Got it. I'll be waiting just past the Verrazano Bridge. You need to be off that ship by then. I'll be in touch. All right. Now we have. Now we finally have control. All right. Life form detecting sensor. Oh shit! My uh, my camera actually completely covers the map. I'm gonna have to fix that. Let me get Snake out of the rain here before he starts sneezing on everything. Alright. out here. Should be a bandage or two laid around somewhere. Ah, there we go. Nice. Give us some chap grenades. Nice. Little Pentasmin. Freeze. Huh. Nice. Get us a little bandage. We don't really need to go up here or anything like that, so... Dog tags, my guy. Thank you. Appreciate that.
Oh, no, that's the USP rounds. Thank you, give me that ration. And we'll just chuck him in the locker here. There we go. God, it's, it's so nice to be able to play this game again. Now I gotta remember where all my shit's at. It actually it looks really nice for uh for the HD. Me too. I'm. I, it's been years, honestly. I've been wanting to play this game for years, and I had hoped that one day they get uh they would put this back out for modern consoles. Cause I had the I had the first HD remaster, but I didn't have like the Legacy Edition, and I wish that I had. But it was so damn much money that I was just like, dude, I I, I can't. I can't put out that kind of money for the Legacy Edition. And, it, and I was like, and I already had four by that point. So I was like, I wasn't, at that time, I wasn't about to just buy a whole new copy just for four. It's insanely overpriced how much four actually is now. Like, I mean, even, the, like, the fact that you could, you can kick shit, you can break the bottles in here, it's like, there was a lot that this game had. Oh shit, I hear somebody. should um actually there's no good spot that I can put because I'm completely I wish that there was an option to uh oh wait wrong button oops sorry I wish there was an option to move the uh radar Damn, he's gonna have a neck cramp later. Snake, wait! Don't move! I see it. Some kind of device on both sides of the hall. Infrared sensors? Right, and they're linked to... Let me guess. Semtex. Exactly. Plastic explosives. If you trip the sensors... I'll be sleeping with the fishes, along with this entire ship. That sounds about right. Hmm. There aren't that many infrared beams. Maybe you can get past those without setting off the explosives. If you need to see exactly where the beams are, you can use the usual method. There's a fire extinguisher over there. Break it open and try scattering some of the extinguishing chemicals. Okay. No, no, so in real life, we would have we would have absolutely hit one of them damn lasers. All right, get my M9s. Oh wait, shit, he's coming this way. He thought he was gonna come in here and be slick and get some sleep. He's like, eh, fuck it. Where's, uh... uh... I forgot what the cold medicine is in this game.
it's fine. We'll we'll warm up on the bridge. Thank God the ship was run by a computer because all the carnage in here, you'd think like this thing would have already crashed. Also amazing that they that they weren't picked up on any kind of radar, but they might have had something to kind of mask all that. Snake, did you find out where that ship is headed? No, I'm looking at it. 35 degrees longitude, latitude around 58. More than 500 miles off the coast of the Bermudas, out in the middle of the Atlantic. So the prototype is ready for solo testing. It's basically combat worthy. That area is outside the Second Fleet's operational range, too. It must be a standalone Marine Corps project, which means this prototype Metal Gear must be designed for independent deployment without any naval assistance. Anyway, analysis can wait till later. Snake, you need to go down to the holds and locate the actual metal... <gasps> Everybody's just out here in the fucking rain. It's probably about 30 degrees outside with the rain. And they're all just out there just like, eh, it's fine. Alright, let's do this. Snack Daddy is back. Control room, communications and engine room are under control. All entry and exit points to the tanker hold secured. Infrared sensors placed and operational. Also top-notch voice acting for the explosives in place. Yes, they are all planted. Listen, once we have what we came for, the tanker will be scuttled. And the vehicle's pilot. He's the only one who underwent the VR training. No one else can do it. Are you sure you can trust him? Your part in the mission is complete. You are to leave at once. No, it's not over yet. I can see the moon, even in this storm, pale as death. I have a bad feeling about this mission. You swore this to me, that you would leave the unit once the mission was complete. Do not worry, this is a country of liberty. No, this is where I belong, with the unit. I have nowhere else to go. Father, I want to stay and fight. There is no choice to make here, Olga. Need I remind you that you are carrying my grandchild? You will be on the helicopter out of here now. She shouldn't even been out there in the first damn place knowing she was damn pregnant. It. your gun overboard slowly a woman show your face you men you're all the same who are you we have nomads 
wanderers. I said to move. Americans. So you shoot women too? I'm a nomad too. What else do you have there? Take the knife and toss it. Not there. Toss it overboard. Hold that position. Now, turn around. You know what you're doing. Oh. It stopped me. Not too shabby, is it? New York, I mean. One day I want to visit New York just for the pizza. And that brings our tour to its conclusion. Scout knife with a surprise. You are and now we're back to rain again. I think you deserve a little credit. No one's ever dodged that shot of mine. But no one gets lucky twice either. Sure. unit since I was born. I grew up on the battlefield. Conflict and victory were my parents. The unit is my life, my family. We've shared everything, all the bad and all the good. I have no one, nothing except the young. Boom, got you. Nothing else matters to me. Right in the gut. Whoever you are, you're not stopping us. Sure. Take her on the other side, she's actually just laid out instead of like over the railing. Imagine how long she'd be sleeping if, like, in real life, like, you loaded her up with like 20 tranquilizer rounds. Like, the chemical over the chemical overdose would just send her into a coma. These little fucking things. Cypher. Otacon, the ship appears to be under their control. The men have Russian gear, but I haven't been able to find out anything else about their origin. I know who they are. You do? We've ID'd the old man. Who is he? Sergei Gerlukovich. Gerlukovich? One of Ocelot's allies. Yeah, the Gru Colonel. 
He's the one Ocelot was supposed to meet up with after Shadow Moses. They're after Metal Gear. Everything's changed. This is not going to be as simple as we thought. Y you could say that. I saw a surveillance remote just now. It looked like the Cypher. A Marine Cypher T? No, Army. First the Marines, then the Russians, now the Army? You're right. This isn't going to be simple. Snake, there's something I have to tell you. What? We didn't dig up this info about the new Metal Gear on our own. Not like usual. How did you find out, then? It was a tip. An anonymous tip. Anonymous? You've never trusted those. Why would you start now? I, uh... I have a younger sister. A stepsister. We have different parents. I only knew her for two years. In today's years. world, that would have elicited a different before. response. So? The sender of the tip was E.E. E.E.? E. E. Her name is Emma, but I always call her E.E. E. Emma? Emmerich? Yeah. It just caught my eye, you know? I, I figured it was a coincidence, but I couldn't get it out of my mind. There's really no one out there who knows about her. When was the last time you saw her? Over ten years ago. You think it's a trap to lure us out here? I don't know. After I got the tip, I did break into the Pentagon system to get confirmation. Okay. Watch your back, Snake. Maybe I screwed up. I've got a light-equipped USP. I can take them on now. There's no ammo, but it takes a 9mm, just like the Marine's M9. I'll find those somewhere around here. Don't raise too much racket with that thing. I hear you. That's fine. Uh, ads are about to roll in, so just forewarning everybody. I'll take Olga's dog tag. That was one thing I never really did, was like the dog tags. I did it a little bit in the original too, but... Not extensively. Stand still. It's the enemy. I need help. Taking a nap is fine. Oh shit! Ow! 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 I think the suppressor's up here, too. Oh, no, that's the thermal goggles. The suppressor for the the, so, the uh, USP is somewhere on this ship. And I can't remember where. I actually remember the first time when I discovered that there actually was a suppressor for this damn thing on here, and I was like, uh, I'm sorry. Okay. He's there. Sailor, yes, 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 it's fine. Alright, let's get back inside before we start fucking coughing and sneezing everywhere. Alright, nice, we got ammo. Now we can actually start taking out some of these cameras and shit.
shit. Okay, nice. that's fine. Ah, get away from me! Yeah, I do too. I, I actually like that they put it in Twin Snakes. Or oh, they had a variation of it. that in Twin Snakes was a godsend with all those damn gun turrets that you have in the uh, second half of the game. My god. That was annoying. Okay. feet for a second. I've never seen that. That was weird. It's like I just like hit him. I like I nicked him and he's just kind of like kind of like in that Mortal Kombat dazed mode. Okay, there we go. Now we go to the lounge where we get to have a drink. Chill. I mean, the detail in this game, even back then, is like nice. Like all the marble flooring, like this is nice for a fucking tanker. And of course, we're getting a live feed of the uh, of Metal Gear Ray from the hold on the ship.
Like this is, um, it's almost like they converted this thing into like a luxury, from like a, almost like a luxury cruiser. Cause it's like, it's very, very uh, stylish. Raven. You know, we know that Raven's not here. His ass was eaten by, was ate up by crows, by crows. But nice, uh, nice figurine. I bet today that was probably like three hundred dollars. Okay, we got some USB rounds. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. Well, sorry. We're just gonna put you back where you came from. No harm, no foul. Damn, muscles on that guy. Oh shit. doing that back in the day. I wasn't sure if that was still a thing. Shit, he's away. I'm under enemy fire. Secure the perimeter. Shit, hang on. We're just gonna hide in the orange box. I think after a fall like that, they'd be out for a while, but then after about 30 seconds, he's like, uh, I'm good. Uh, not my guy. I think he probably shattered a collarbone, a hip, and probably have at least a grade two or three concussion by that point. Also, I don't think a chemical, uh, a chemical tranquilizer would get neutralized so quick by a kick. Enemy personnel on board. All units, maximum alert. Send the replacement guard for the area. Thank God their field of vision is not perfect because otherwise they'd be able to see you right here and then the game would be over. Or like the harder difficulties whenever you get seen you're immediately just like, well shit. <laughs> he didn't even notice them. He was just like, fuck it, I'm going back on my break. Okay. What was that just now? 
nothing. Excuse me, coming through, coming through. with a little caution here because uh I can't use my can't use my radar like I normally could. Um, nothing. need to change my uh my camera settings in a minute but let me just wait this out real quick actually let me uh let me do that real quick and move it down so i can actually use my my radar give me just one second i gotta fix this on the playstation just one sec uh wait um Advanced settings. Uh, right. Uh. Okay, 
Uh, we'll try that and see. That should be... Okay, it's a little disorienting, but it'll, it should suffice for now. So one annoying thing about PlayStation camera uh, placement is that I'm limited in where I can put it. Let me make sure <coughs> that they're not coming back this way. And then, uh... Okay. Okay, I can actually kind of still see my inventory screen. Okay, so that's, that's fine. Now, let's shoot out the Simtex. Yes, I know. Snake, there's... We're gonna speed past that one. Just needed to make sure that I had already gotten all those out of the way. Marizano Bridge checkpoint passed. All non-essential personnel report to the holds in 10 minutes time for the scheduled briefing session with the Commandant. You are ordered to continue manning your posts until that time. the other day there's a um it was a youtube short and it had like some unique uh interactions that i had never seen before and it was like one guy basically snuck up on another guard and he's like don't do that and i was like i had never seen that before <coughs> damn it okay uh let me There's cold medicine somewhere on the ship, I just can't remember where it is. And this guy's over here jamming it up, probably listening to the new Lincoln Park. Yep. Shoot out here in a minute. Okay, got ration now. Honestly, wonder why they didn't just uh, just get this damn Metal Gear much sooner. They could, they could honestly could have probably abducted this damn thing off the uh, the tanker at any point before all this. But that was probably in their plan anyway because they were expecting Snake to show up. 
So they probably figured they could just kill two birds with one stone. It's like, well, we'll get the incriminating evidence for him, and then we'll uh, we'll grab the shit on the way out. I guess. Colonel, we have sealed the stern hatch. The lift is also under our control. The Marine Commander has started his speech already. We will complete the preparations before the end of the speech. All communications to the halls have been severed. No one is aware of our presence. Let no one down into the halls until we are out. Yes, sir. We will secure your exit with our lives if necessary. There is one more thing. Yes, sir. Achievement for like take, getting taking them out when you shoot the the piping to release the steam out, but I'm not gonna fuck with that. I'll end up dying trying to do all that shit. That's the new. That's the the guy hiding right there. He's the newbie. He's like ah fuck this. I'm staying out of this fight. We thought you were with the Colonel. What the? Ah! Boom! The Colonel will be joining you soon, comrade. The Colonel will be joining you soon. Comrade. Comrade. You only rush him with fucking boot spurs on. Snake, are you in yet? Have you made it to the holds? It's taking longer than I expected. We've already passed the Verrazano Bridge. All right, we'll use another recovery point. They may be planning to change course. What? The exits to the deck are all sealed. What are they planning? If they get Metal Gear, we're going right off the fringe. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses. The men down here are definitely Marines. The current state of nuclear... If the deck is sealed off, they have no way of knowing that the ship's been taken over. 
I'm not interested in fighting these guys. The weapons won't do me much good here. Can you see Metal Gear? No. I'll have to go around to the bow. They have some serious defenses here. I doubt the recent rivals want to blast their way through the Marines either. Wonder where they're headed? I don't know. Not the beach, that's for sure. Okay, Snake. Let's go over this one more time. Use this camera to get photographic evidence of the Metal Gear prototype. Okay. Now do your thing and take pictures that speak louder than the government's plausible denials. We need four shots. Metal Gear from the front, front right, and front left, and a close-up of the Marine Corps marking. Marking? There should be a Marine's insignia on the body of Metal Gear. Just let someone try explaining away a clear shot of that. It's AI. It's Photoshop. All right. There's actually one little thing. Just what? spit it out. I'm used to things going wrong. It looks like someone's <clears throat> monitoring our transmission. Who? I don't have a clue. All they're doing is watching. It would creep me out less if they tried to interfere with our communications. Could it have something to do with that cipher we saw? Maybe. I've switched the encryption protocol for our burst transmission for now. What I want to do is use a different method for sending these photos, just in case. Instead of using the codec? It's more likely also a lot. Exactly. There's a workstation in the southeast corner of the block where Metal Gear is housed. I've made arrangements so that you can send the pictures from the machine. Arrangements? I hitched a ride on Link 16 into U.S. military's proprietary network. Managed to get into that workstation and overwrote a part of the system software so I could remote install a little app I wrote. Why bother with anything that complicated? No, it's pretty simple, really. Look, all you have to do is stand in front of the machine and push the action button. The app will automatically launch and download the image data from the camera. Split the files and encrypt them individually. The data packets can then be sent there like as... Okay, what? okay. What? So all I have to do is push the action button in front of the computer once I have the pictures, right? Well, sure, if you put it that way. And one more thing. The Commandant's already begun his speech, but you need to get the pictures before he's done talking. Otherwise, they'll spot you, okay? How much time do I have? I hacked into his personal files and took a look at the text of that speech. I'd say you have seven more minutes. Longer if he throws in a joke or two. A seven-minute time limit, huh? Seven Remember, Snake, just spare. the photos, okay? With these kinds of odds, I won't be making any sudden moves. But that doesn't mean we can just let Metal Gear be hijacked. Okay, okay, but first the photos. All right, we'll deal with the rest when we get there. Stay low. At the moment, every... Oh, yep, Which on that? The nation on the globe knows the specifications for Metal Gear. Worse yet... So do a number of rogue states. And if you have your, uh... Um, They're all working on deploying their own Metal Gear Force to... If you have your grip gauge upgraded, you can actually bypass some areas with the, uh... A swarm of these Metal Gear derivatives. With some wires that they have. I think it's in the second area, though. We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. I'll never be able to speedrun this type of game, though, so that's why I'm With just like, Ray, nah, I'm the good. Hundreds, if not thousands of Metal Gears that exist the people who can the speedrun these types of games, I have the blind very much respect. The proliferation will be contained, and it will be the Marine Corps and our Ray that will accomplish this. This weapon will render all other Metal huh. Gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear Force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. Normally I just go underneath, but this time I was like, eh, it's fine. The just shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order, and we, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. Uh huh. See that wire right there, if y'all can see, you can also drop down from certain areas. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced. And you can actually get like a special Not intro cutscene for Metal Gear as well. Major play. But this project is vital to the Marine Corps. The enemy is sometimes closer to home than you think, gentlemen. Always bear that in mind. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development. 
but it cannot be more different in nature right. than the Navy's. Uh, Theirs is a program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear proliferation. Okay. It is a fact that players in favor of such a policy are attempting to derail our own raid project. But I promise you that they will not okay. succeed. Okay, yeah, let me, just stick, let me just stick with the way I was going to go. This turned out to be longer than expected. At ease, rest a little. Just don't do that intruder to the left and right shit right now. Let me uh, let me get past y'all. Oh shit. To move on. Okay. I have a daughter. And it is my greatest wish Shit. never to have her or her children experience the horror of nuclear war. As a father, I want to leave a better world for the future generation. As a soldier, I know that is my duty. I don't want to move. I don't want to move. Metal Gear Ray is amphibious. Unlike the Army's Rex, it can cruise deep underwater. Move in undetected and make its can landing I... on any shoreline. Okay, actually. Shit! Damn it. Its onboard joint tactical information distribution system identifies targets with unerring. Ooh! Okay. My butt clenched up a little bit right there because I for sure thought I was going to get spotted. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses incident during the Sears administration. The current state of nuclear proliferation is a direct result of that event. Metal Gear. Hey, Commander. What'd it do? Metal Gear. This new model of Metal Gear is codenamed Ray, after the Great Manta Ray. Our Ray has a sting that nature never right, we'll gave a mountain. With this latest Metal Gear, we can rule the sea and land as we never have before. Alright, uh, let's see. Zoom in with... oh, okay. We have intelligence that there are anti-metal oh, yep, terrorists are planning to target the ship. Intruder to the left! Intruder in the back! That scared the shit out of me the first time I did this. Intruder to the right! Should that actually happen, I expect you to be prepared. We cannot and will not give up Ray. Stay on your guard at all times. Where's to move he? on. George Sears surrendered his presidency in the aftermath of Shadow Moses. Good. The official reason given did not, of course, include the development of Metal Gear Rex and next generation nuclear warheads. But even you will have heard rumors that he was forced to resign after the failed cover-up cost of his influence in the political community. The Metal Gear Rex development on Shadow Moses was supposedly the first preparatory measure taken against the future possibility of reduced nuclear defense capability. NMD technology leaked to other nations would make that contingency likely. But if this theory is correct, means that there was a calculated intent to cash in on this opportunity by specific interests with in the military good all right we are nice. here today to flush out and rid our country of these corrupting forces that is our mission you will bear that in mind okay the proliferation and development of metal gear technology are about to render agreements like the nvt and start obsolete 
There are also good. Trying to exploit right. this disturbing trend to further their own power and influence. All right, let's drop these off and let's get the fuck out of here. The human race is about to slide back into the endless arms race of that last. Also, century. fun fact: if you beat this game and you come back in, everybody, everybody in game. here is in their underwear. The Metal Gear way you see is here to prevent that possibility. Metal Gear Ray is amphibious. Unlike the army's wrecks, it can cruise deep underwater. Look how boxy these fucking computers were. Jesus. Loading MGX. Alright, let me... Okay, uh, ad break coming in... Okay. Wonder how long it actually took him to write this little program. So, any codec moments from you, Snake? The Only first image is Okay, that's good. The shot from the right is in the bag. The next one's my only fans. This is great. The Marines lettering shows up really well. The next one's... Okay, this works. It's a great front view. And the next one is... You're a pretty good photographer. We can definitely use this left shot. Okay, speech is done. Now it's time for us to get the hell out of here. We, the Marines, will lead the charge into a new world order with Metal Gear Ray. That is all. Dismissed. And now chaos ensues. I honestly wonder how the hell Snake was going to get out there if everything didn't go... Completely ape shit. Because he was sealed in, so you know it was like, uh, okay, how the fuck do I get out of here? Excellent speech, my friend. Who the? Gift, Gift of, of the, the silver, silver tongue. tongue. They say it's, it's the, the mark, mark of a good officer. officer. And, and of a liar. liar. Americans, Americans are, are too in love with the sound, sound of their own voice to speak, speak the, the truth. truth. Identify yourself. I am Shalashaska, also called Revolver Ocelot. Ooh, those PS1 graphics, though. What do you want? This machine will be quite useful. What are you planning to do? Steal this thing? Steal? No, no. I'm taking it back. Nowadays, this would be a CG cutscene instead of in game. And that's one of the things that I love about this is that everything is shot in real time. Gerlukovich. Amazing that they were able to Nobody sneak a move. move. Understood. <clears throat> Got all them guys behind him, but nobody saw shit. And these fucking guys are still recording. The show must go on. Uh, my guy. This ship now carries enough Simtex on its key structural points to blow it out of the water at the touch of this button. That's right. 
No one has to die needlessly. Cold War level era. What do you intend to do with Ray? Sell it on the streets? I was raised in Znezinsk, formerly known as Chelyabinsk 70, the nuclear research outpost. Research? What are you talking about? After the Cold War ended, my home was bought out by the Americans. Is there a point to this sad story? Not you would understand. Land, friends, dignity, all sold to the highest bidder, the United States of America. Even the technology that gave birth to these weapons is Russian, developed by us. What do you intend to do? Russia will rise again. And Ray is the key. I regret to inform you that I have no intention of selling Metal Gear. As I said, I came to take it back. <gasps> that gas. I forgot he does that. Yes. Returned to the Patriots. The Lale Nule Lo. How's that possible? Ocelot. You! Have you sold us out? <laughs> I was never in your employ, Kalukovich. Are you still in league with Solidus? No hard feelings, Colonel. Mother Russia can rot for all I care. Since when, Ocelot? When did you turn? I'm glad you noticed, comrade. I abandoned her during the Cold War. Ah! Metal Gear only has room for one! Gulukovic. You and your daughter will die here. Damn you! So very anime. The amazing thing is that he really thought he could take him out, knowing uh, Ocelot's background and his skill with a weapon. Sergey, looks like you were long overdue for retirement. I trust. Stop. Everybody else is like, what the fuck is going on here? Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Show's over. If you wish to live, I suggest you run now. This ship is still in the lower New York Harbor. You may yet make it to shore if you swim for your life. Boom! And now everything just goes to shit. Everybody who remembers Metal Gear Solid 1, he lost an arm. 
It's been a while, brother. Who are you? You know who I am. Liquid? Not so young anymore, eh, Snake? You're drowning in time. I know what it's like, brother. No wonder Naomi passed you over for the Fox Dive program. Out! Get out of my, my mind, mind, Liquid! I always figured that that party bit his arm just to try and subdue him. The price of physical prodigy. Few more years and you'll be another dead clone of the old man. Our raw materials are vintage, brother. Big Boss was in his late 50s when they created his copies. But I, I live on through this arm. Liquid arm. <laughs> that fucking yell always made me giggle. That was always like when they it was like, oh, I, I survived by hiding his arm and then I wake up and I was like, wait, what? It's one of the most what the fuck moments of this whole series. Also, it is now a Power Ranger. That's so badass though. Problem, boys. The next is on the road. Otacon, we have a problem. This is actually one of the coolest parts. I didn't realize this until like after my first playthrough. You know, they have all metal gears, they all have a laser cannon. This one literally used water instead of a laser to cut through the metal. to imagine the type of Snake! pressure that, that you would need to get water to cut through metal like that. Like, holy shit. Shit. 
snooze the ads right quick. Discussed. Yes, I have photographic evidence of Snake on the scene. The cipher was most useful. I look forward to tomorrow morning's news flash. I would say the Marine Corps' plans are on indefinite hold. Yes, of course, Mr. President. Mr. President. Hell of a prologue. Scientists had to make thousands of calculations to create the atomic bomb and determine its effects, computers, and atomic bombs. Both products of World War II grew up together. I actually need to watch that movie, too. Um... The one about the, uh, the sinking of that tanker the two bomb, years ago. The, the of course, bomb. terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude, barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shell. The big shell. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark, a symbol of environmental protection. Calling teams Alpha and Bravo. Deploy at the big shell as scheduled. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad Dead Cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a Sound familiar? group and they have the big shell under complete control. <laughs> yeah, we all did. I honestly didn't know what to think about riding at first. I wasn't as much of a riding hater as a lot of other people were. I was still kind of like, what the hell's going on here? Because I was like, their demands, thirty billion dollars. Thirty billion dollars. What makes them think they can get that much? There was a government-sponsored tour going on at the Big Shell that day. I love the, Hostages, how they designed the huh? water a from in one these of the games. Major conservation groups and one from our own government. The most important person in a sense. The most important person? James Johnson. The president? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell. Yeah, out same. Of the I water. honestly, I, I, the crude will ignite, turning I never had an issue with right now. I like. That's not I like his backstory. I like if how he eventually morphs into the, the new cyborg the ninja. Toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the base rising was will be fun as shit, out, and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. 
Him and Rose's banter between this game, though, is a bit whiny, but... You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell. And, and add about the, the president and other minute. hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. Is this a joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. It's fine. Nobody will see me. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of Shell 1. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get exactly. in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. All right, Raiden. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. Okay, we'll skip that part. Make sure nobody sees you. If you Three need to, shit. contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to reach you, when we still contact a select you, button. the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. All right. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? You walk. There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. Sounds good. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct of fiber optics research. So now we can get the texture 5G. isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They Basically call this the skull ba suit in Fox. Basically, he's wearing skull Batman suit. armor. Seems appropriate somehow. The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch first. Copy okay. that. Moving on to main mission objectives. God, Flossy. Rose. Jack, do you remember the day we met? Um. Yeah, but can this wait until I'm done? Like, I kind of have people shooting at me every five seconds. And they're like, what's tomorrow? Like, uh. I don't fucking know. Okay, get the ration, and, uh, let's see. Okay. Yes, I know how to swim. Got your feet wet? Yep, we'll skip all that. Alright, uh, the IR goggles should be down here. I think. Oh, no, they're not here. Okay, that's right. We're on a, di a different difficulty setting than I remember. So there's stuff that's been moved around a little bit. Ew! Fucking bugs. Damn it, Ryden! 
about that. We're going to go a little bit longer than I'm going to call for the night because I still need to eat dinner. So we'll, uh... Okay, and... Yeah, that's right, the M9 used to be in, uh, other modes would be in here. Looking through these goggles is a pain in the ass, though. Colonel, I've sighted an enemy sentry. AN-94 and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment, is Russian-made. Must be a Gerlukovich man. Gerlukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses Takeover Group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal, an arrangement with the terrorists. They become a band of mercenaries, an army without a country. All right. Okay. Uh. Really? Hang on. Let me check one. Out of my way. Okay, nothing this way. Right here. Okay, never mind. Okay. That just leads back out here. Okay. Riding no cartwheels inside. Honestly, when you think about it, this should have been the one that had, uh... The crouch walk implemented it into it. Actually, all of them should have. Okay. Now that we screwed around enough, let's uh go get our asses up here. All right. I still think it's complete bullshit that they expected anybody, even realistically, to believe that this whole place was built in two years and set up here. When you look at how the way this whole thing is structured, it's essentially an oil rig. You can't put that shit up in no two years. Well, maybe you can, but you probably got advanced alien technology. Cool. There's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know who he is, but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area. They're all out cold. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. We need to get an ID. But for now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? Not nerd. Node. I feel called out. Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? True. That radar came in useful during VR training. A radar system uses biological magnetic fields as input. These estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals and field personnel reports. We need to get to the map through the Big Shell's node to put this data processing to practical use. The node unit is about three feet high, should be colored blue. Each area has at least one. How do I gain access? Just push the action button in front of the node. The nanomachines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the node. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. Wife, right? and you got a, and you got if a they whole, spot you, uh, you won't be map. able to gain access for a while. Stay on guard. Got it. Check around for supplies right quick. I always like the music in this part, in this uh, part of the game. 
Bum, 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 bum. Brace yourselves for a little shock. You know how pissed I would have been if somebody had been like, uh, y'all never told me I was supposed to get fucking electrocuted for this shit. Okay, uh, that's that, that's that, that's that. Yep. Imagine if every time we pulled up the map on our damn phones, we get shocked. Alright, blood, cutscenes, letterbox. On. All right. Good work, Ryden. The radar should be functioning now. Remember your VR training sessions. The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. The bright dot in the middle is you, Ryden. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Ish. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. It's all made from currently existing technology. So make better technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. The Big Shell's layout map should now be available after touching the start button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves, and an analyst to work on the data, too. Jack, Brace yourself, is everything Wassie. all right? What are you doing here? Jack, can you hear me? Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Ryden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving <laughs> and support. Why her? The foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission Blossy's was in an just accident. Like, Hang on, I gotta fix Rose the drink Rose Mary first. was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence analyst is no field officer. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see... I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? You know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack, okay. you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. You Imagine need being someone in a relationship with somebody and you but have to work with them in I have conditions this, that need to be manners. met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data, but I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. He's my His boyfriend. Comes first to me, not the mission. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn in a save. The proprietary save frequency is 140.96. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? Oh, April fuck 30th. hell. Is there something special about it? <laughs> Isn't there? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll keep trying till I hear the answer. <coughs> I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. Are oh, you gonna keep trying? You're gonna annoy the shit out of me in the middle of a mission. <laughs> Christ almighty, will you shut up? Raiden, the enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. Be careful, Jack. Find somewhere to hide until the elevator arrives. Oh, she you said must it again. stay out of sight. Everybody take a shot every time she says Jack in this game. 
I'm under enemy fire. Secure the perimeter. I don't honestly remember if I'm safe here or not. I usually hide up on the left. to interrupt their patrols. Far be it from us to keep anybody from doing their jobs. So we're being good citizens here. The terrorists the call reveal. themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The Followed by the big dramatic hair the clip. Solid snake. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be the Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. Welcome back, Quentin Flynn. Could he have survived? Not a chance. Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries. But it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had daylight VR training after all. Stay extra How sharp until you can find a node VR to log training? in from. What about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on Struts B and C. And the president? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. Strut B? This is how this is how bad his briefing was. He didn't have any shell idea is comprised how the of shells this one and two. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of strut A, shell one at the moment. There better not be a trophy for slipping on birds. First, shit. get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. I would be surprised if there was. All right, first off, gonna get our bandages. We're not gonna slip on bird shit. I have no idea where the M the M9 is in this game. Okay, that's locked down here. I don't need to answer every damn every t uh, every code. Right. SEAL Team 10 is in. Do we really have no line of communication with the SEALs? They don't know a thing about us. You know we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. <sighs> There's no need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command, and the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. Translation, we're fucked. Okay. I'll go check the roof. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. Understood. Colonel, I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. How? Flatten yourself against a wall and hit the punch button. Got it. I thought you went through VR training, right? Shit. That's so calm ammo. Oh, 
Ricochet. It's the enemy. And oh, 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 oh. We don't need to, we're fine. Now we got these buggy fuckers everywhere. Raiden, watch your back. That's a cipher, a type of UAV. If it spots you, it will alert enemy personnel. Exercise extreme caution, but you can use chaff to set up an interference field. That'll knock its sensors offline for a while. Try to locate some chaff. You can also destroy the engine or the camera. Some of the UAVs may be armed. Be careful. Copy that. Wait a second. I just intercepted new intelligence on the operation being executed by SEAL Team 10. Intercepted? As I said before. They need to be kept in the dark about our presence. So we just listen in. I'm patching it through. This is Alpha Zero. We have the president. Is he safe? He is safe. What about the package? Tell the guys upstairs that we've secured the package. Easy money. Good work. Your retrieval is on the way. Come on home. Roger that. Holy I like how they make it up. The Report. package. Cover the president. Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Alpha Zero. We're under attack. This is crazy. Alpha Zero, respond. Some bullshit is what it is. All Alpha, respond. Raiden, the president's life is in danger. Head to Strut B now. He's fine. Grab us a ration, nice. He's still laid out. Okay. See, it's interesting because I don't have the M9, so now I'm just like, okay, now I have to really use stealth for this. Where is the M9 for this? Ride and watch out. There are sentries posted on the connecting bridge. They will spot you if you continue on course. Colonel, Any I got recommendations? eyes, my guy. Use the hanging mode. Hanging? Face any waist-high railing and push the action button to clear the railing and hang over the side. Once there, you can move sideways while keeping out of enemy sight. All right. I'm giving it a try. Don't forget the grip gauge. It will keep decreasing during a hanging maneuver. And once it runs out, you will fall. Oh, it's strut F? Damn. Okay. All right. Uh... Hang on. Let me see if I can go run and grab it right quick. Because I will need a weapon. Ah, nice chap. How thoughtful. Not quite sure if I'm completely covered here. Oh shit. Alright, we're gonna make a run for it. to loot the warehouse. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. 
Ah, yes, the M9. Sweet! Thank you. the nodes downstairs. Oh shit. There's somebody there. Hmm. We got what we needed for now. Oh shit, on the other side. Has a much better window for doing shit than like uh than one. Alright. Now we can <coughs> comfortably go by with even though this part is no problem to do with the hang with the uh the hanging mode. It's still nice just to have a weapon. Who spilled all the ketchup? Now I have none for my fries. This is bullshit. Oh, never mind. This mission was supposed to be on site procurement, so why didn't he just grab all their shit? I would have grabbed at least one rifle and just like looted all the bodies for mags. I'd have had so much gear at the start of that, I'd be like, I'm good. I got everything I need right here. And I'll keep one extra rifle just around, just in case. Ah! Ooh, good night.
Isn't this just like the UBCS in Resident Evil? It's like, bro, how much fucking ammo are you gonna waste here? You literally probably went through like three mags of ammo right now. Like, blood would actually ever, like, go upward like that. Like, I always wonder, like, what the fuck? On alpha. Come in. I said, the, the, the one thing that I do love about this is how very anime they made this one, but... Still, like, okay, come on, you slit somebody's throat, their blood's gonna immediately go up? This isn't Freddy Krueger. That blinking light is annoying the shit out of me. I just want to press it. Just boop. <gasps> I don't think so. I don't believe there's a lore reason why he's drinking blood in this in this scene. I think it was just a. Oh shit, he's a vampire. No, not not in Metal Gear. He's just very theatrical and extra. He's like Man Bat. What are you? Five today. Five today. Oh, rubber six. I think Phil Amar passed away re uh, not too long ago. I think it's been like the last couple of years. I think. I think he passed. I'm not sure. I might be thinking of somebody else. Get down! Get down! Oh, no, wait, no, he's still, wait, he's still around. Okay, I'm not, maybe, uh, where is he? I thought, but I don't know. Let me make sure. No, it says he's still around. Who, somebody else, somebody else died then. I can't remember. Uh, Strange smell. You no, he's still around. Okay. Us. Never mind. It's my fault. Are you? It has to be. Shoot him! What are you waiting for? It must have been another voice actor that passed. Uh, back a few years ago. Yes. I think that was also associated with Metal Gear. Something interesting. I'll tell you in person. Where are you? In the central unit with the president. Be right there. Not an enemy. Calm down. My name is. My name is Pliskin. Yeah, I... boy Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. I remember seeing him in the news for something though. Uh, well, not in the news, but on my new, but on my my Twitter feed some time ago. Are you a Navy SEAL? How did you get in? 
fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. Have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? I like how they cleaned it up so much you can actually see the cut in his arm. I was part of the Army Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first. I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking mission 60, weapons 80, advanced VR, huh? But realistic in every way. A virtual grunt of the digital age, that's just great. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year a few soldiers die in field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's I never the played many of the VR missions. To remove back you then. from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? So that's all the COD players out there. So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Right. What's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. What about the President? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah. Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. It's a little too late for that. Whoops. What's up? Take a look. What the hell? A Navy captain. Uh. You all right? Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. What was that man just now? That blood-sucking freak? That was Vamp. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name oh, was that's right. Now I remember his little thing for blood terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. He just has but a taste for the time blood. their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always he close had to feed on his family, but they became more and more extreme. Extreme. Began to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than a hundred people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. And buried. What about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. 
You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Why? What are you really doing here? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. I also can't too. see chat at the minute. Um, my Chrome crapped out. Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Bravo Zero. Currently at the bridge between Struts B and C. The president is. Damn! I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone? Come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? Well, that ended that one real quick. The BC connecting bridge. We need to get there. Can you handle it? I need a few more minutes. Remember my frequency. It's 141.80. Got it. 141.80. Got it. I've been briefed on this plant's layout. If you need information on the place or about Dead Cell, contact me. You're using nano communication, right? Yeah, but I can patch into your frequency. Hey, what's your name? Raiden. Raiden? Strange code name. Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday. Okay, now I can at least see with my phone. Don't know what the hell is going on with my Chrome, but it's Google after all, so. Fun fact, he's, he, even though he's still asleep, you pull a gun on him, he'll actually just perk right up like. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I always thought that was kind of neat. Like, his senses are still, like, so OP that he's just like, eh. All right, so we got the scope, all that jazz. All right. You sure we can't take all the weapons in here? Because, I mean, it looks like they won't be needing that anytime soon. Yes? Jack, it's me. Everything okay, Rose? Uh... Don't you need to save the mission data? Oh, yeah. Thanks for the reminder. Yeah, we might as well. Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough, and we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. <laughs> I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay. I'm going to finish this thing by tomorrow, no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere, too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something. Okay. It's like, well... It's like, why won't you tell me what's wrong? You're supposed to know. Really?
Oh, I thought there was something there. Okay, it's fine. And then in Metal Gear Solid 4, that's like the voiceover of her whenever writing on the cusp of dying. And you're just like, really? This again? This is what you remember in your closing moments. Is being annoyed by your by your then girlfriend on your first mission. So good. Come, put me out of my misery. This is impossible. Nothing will hit her. Is she the one they call Fortune? so annoyed, just like, I know that's not a dud. I'm just like, god damn it. Also, if I saw what she's carrying, I, even though, if I didn't know what it was, I'd been like, uh... Today is another bad day. Woo! Is there anyone here that can give me happiness? To have it in I'm four. so sorry, my beauties. I'll see you again someday. I'll see you again someday. Okay, good. Now, uh, now Chrome's actually working. I don't know what the hell happened to you, but cool. I feel like back in a, a, a rush of uh, like my early days of streaming, where I had to use my phone for chat. Colonel. SEAL Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. What happened to the cargo choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier, too. A Harrier? What is this? Calm down. It just means they anticipated the attack. What? Besides, since the SEALs drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? But... There's no time for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> Raiden, we've had to adjust the mission objectives. The priority is now on removing those C4s of the terrorist wire over there. the big Isn't that what shell. Did before? The president can wait, but this can't. Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. The Bravo team brought an explosives pro in with them. 
He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Is this according to simulation too? What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead Cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire too, it's... it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, snap out of it. And you, Rose. I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Raiden, this is real. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be just a dream. Are you two done? <laughs> right. You're needed on Strut C. Colonel was like, all right, I've had enough of this fucking teenage drama bullshit. I hate the way he holds a gun, though. That's one of the little small details about this game, is I always hated the way he held that gun. Like, in cutscenes, he holds it like he should, but, like, when he's running around with it, I don't... It's like he's trying to, like he's trying to run with scissors and not stab himself. Okay, uh, check the bathroom. Hi, how are you? Ah, uh, Phantasma, I'll take that, thank you. Open all the doors. Okay. Oh shit. Somebody dropped something. Shoot. You a cop? I'm not NYPD. I came in with the Bravo team. Who are you with? And what happened to SEAL Team 10? They're all dead. All of them? Oh, that's bad. Did I tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of the bad guys. Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. Fine. What's your name? My name is Peter. Peter Stillman. I'm lecturer at Nav Scolio at Indian Head. Also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. I thought you'd retired. I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me, with too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. So you're the bomb disposal guy? No, he's THE guy. Kid, this is THE bomb disposal guy. Open any explosives disposal textbook and you'll see his name. Huh. <laughs> Just ancient history now. Why did they bring you out of retirement, then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students. The Emperor of Explosives, Fat Man. He built an atomic bomb when he was only ten. I created him, in a sense. And that's why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. I was supposed to supervise the bomb disposal. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. I wouldn't say that. Out of all the names you could have picked, you picked Fat Man as his There are at name. least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Raiden. That's an odd name. Do you not and watch Japanese anime, sir? sir? There was also an engineer with me. An engineer? 
A skinny guy. He went in with us. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Was he killed? I don't think so. I didn't find his body. I see. They told me he was a security systems architect for the Big Shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed to get us past all the security measures. I never heard anything about that. He had official orders with him. I love how Raiden was we'll just, I mean, how later. the Otacon was right just able now, to we need sneak to his way out on. To deal with all the bombs. But there's no one left from the SEAL's EOD squad. Yup, so we have to do it ourselves. But I've never defused a bomb before. Hold on a sec. Off to confer with the CO again? It's fine, we're just gonna Glad spray some deodorant on it. Okay. Assist him in any way possible to clear the C4 from the structure. Colonel, you know I've never been trained in bomb disposal. It's all right. The man you're working with is the best in the field. All you have to do is follow his directions. You will, of course, keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer came in with Stillman? I wasn't informed of that. It's probably something the SEALs decided on their own. Hmm. There are more important issues at hand, like, right? Don't tell him your name. The enemy well, may tell retaliate something. for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized now. Colonel, I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. Jack, it's me. Rose? You can do this. Trust me. You haven't had bomb disposal training per se in VR. Rose? But you're more than capable of handling C4. This is a little different from using C4. You're up for this. You know that. Stop I'll trying it, kid. Are the results in yet? <laughs> There's no need to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Here, look at this. This is a C4 bomb. It's live. You can see it pulsing. Now you spray this on the sucker and... There we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect I last? I always like that There's sound no way the thing can it. detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with you. It's what they call an ion oh, mobility spectrum. Yeah, sorry about the ads, It Blasi. can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4s. The what? In other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4's scent. That's right. I've established a link-up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your eye on the radar. What if he's using some other odorless substance? What if he's using I know ash? Fat Man well. I know how into his own aesthetics he is. Signatures? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. The sensor also picks up that particular scent spectrum. Is that something he learned from you? No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules except his own. And he followed them like a religion. I bet he, wear, he looks like the type of guy that will wear Old Spice. I thought I taught him everything I knew. I have no children of my own, and I thought I found a son in him. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. There are some things you have to pass on. The trick is to know which one. Right. All I taught him was skills. And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. Let's see how well that sensor works. All right. I'm activating them. Watch. You see the green Bing. stuff on the radar? That's a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? 
All right. I got it. Don't forget that you need the radar to use this system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in Strut C as well. Here? Yeah, actually, I don't mind because I know the structure of this facility, and if he wants to take out the plant where he would target, it keeps you busy. You know this for sure. Of course, I taught him the techniques he uses. His ideas are based on my theories. Demolition is a kind of ideology; it makes no exceptions for time or place. Big Shell consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. You need at least that to take a building of this integrity out. Hmm. Six on shell one, another six on shell two. A total of twelve bombs at least. Considering the shell's architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint, that's my conclusion, and it's exactly what he would have decided as well. That you know of. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of Shell 2. Take this. What's this? Security card issued to Shell personnel. The Big Shell security layout includes varying levels of clearance. The clearance level is identified by the number printed on these doors. Wrighton, your card key can open doors with security clearance level one. Pliskin, your card can get you into level three areas. You needed to get next door to shell two. You couldn't give me a level three as How well? How did you get this? this? That engineer trip? I told you about gave it to me. He was supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure. Otacon was slacking a little bit. We'll have to deal with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan just in case. In case of what? Good luck to both of you. Stuff. This is a dangerous one. Who dares wins. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. Semperfy. That man's no seal. I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? Simplify. Marine Corps talk. I think Snake Normally was team leaders stay a little in the too CP hard and get orders one. with those headphones. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. And Who Dares Wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Which I believe Liquid was a part of. Is he one of the terrorists then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. It's because I'm blonde, isn't it? I'm... Just take care of those bombs for now. What about you? They could be back in this area soon. I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. If I lock the door, it should be all right. Plenty of food in here, too, so you don't need to worry about me. I'll give you instructions by codec from here. Good luck, kid. Bomb disposal is a face-off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. When you give in to the fear, the darkness comes. The character models are, are much 
much better defined in this HD. Even if it is just a, even if it is that just directly ported it from the the first HD one, it does look a little more cleaned up. So that at least I can say is like they, at least for like the main characters, they do they did a pretty solid job with that. Even if they botched the rest of it. All right, do I need? I'm gonna uh I'm gonna do this one, then I'm actually gonna call it for the night, so I need because I need to eat before it gets too late because I have to work tomorrow. Alright, uh coolant. Uh game. to control the spray amount. Uh, my coolant is not working. That's weird. Hmm. Actually, hang on. Let me try something real quick. What's up, Jack? Jack, when you get home, let's have a homecoming party. Just the two of us. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hmm, I'll make dinner. Uh, well, well, what's wrong? Well, that sounds <laughs> good, but... How about we eat out at that one restaurant instead? Confirm, you know, Rose doesn't know how to cook. The place we went to recently with the amazing lobster? I really like that place. Well, yeah, I, I guess that's okay too. Whew. Huh? Uh, nothing. <laughs> I, I just love lobster. Yeah, can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I'll make a reservation. Promise me you'll come back safely. This Don't reminds worry. me of that, uh, that deleted scene from Lord of the Rings, uh, the two towers where Aragorn, uh, eats, um, Eowyn's cooking, and he's like, and she's like, do you like it? He's like, mmm. And then when he walks away, he spits it out. That's immediately what I thought of there. Alright, let me actually, uh, let me see here. I want to see because for whatever reason my my coolant isn't working. So let me see if there's a, see if, if this fixes it real quick. If not, then I'll just call it right here and then I'll I'll see if there's a fix for it. Again, Konami should have uh, been a little bit more... Because uh, I've heard the third one has more issues than the second one. I think the second one is pretty... Pretty much mostly untouched as far as like glitches, but we'll see. Let me, uh, let me just Google it right quick before I call it, in case it's something I can easily just fix right here. Uh, let's see. Reddit, help me out here. All you do is point the red click, the red, the right stick forward with the coolant clip. Wait, what? 
What? What the fuck is that? Right in here. I took care of the C4 in Strut C. The ceiling of the women's bathroom was set to blow. <sighs> That's not like him. Anything wrong? Maybe. Pliskin's reported other locations, too, and none of them are effective demolition points. What do you mean? It means that they wouldn't be the best places to choose if you wanted to destroy this place. Are you saying they don't plan on blowing the shell up? It certainly seems that way. So far, we haven't seen anything but a waste of good explosives. Unless, of course, we're missing something. A trap? He couldn't have overlooked the fact that I would be called into this. There's something going on. That's weird. That is really weird. Okay, use... Okay, I didn't... I'm thinking that's just like... Okay, okay. Okay. I didn't actually read all that through like that. That's a weird design choice, though. Why would you change that like that? To... That's weird. I don't know how I feel about that, but I guess maybe they just wanted to kind of change up the controls a little bit, make maybe simplify some stuff. I don't know. Konami was drunk, y'all. I think that's all we can say. Okay. Let's annoy Stillman real quick. No need to worry. If you need to talk to me, use the codec. Fine. Okay. Okay. Since we got that figured out. What's up, Jack? I'm gonna try and speed to this for for Blossy's sake, so that we don't have to sit through Rose's awkward dialogue again. Jack. It must be so nerve-wracking to defuse a bomb. Yeah, I... Oh, no shit, Sherlock. It must be so nerve-wracking to defuse a bomb. Really? <laughs> Jesus Christ. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, uh... I'm gonna leave it here for tonight. And we'll pick up with some more this weekend. Uh, we'll continue the game. We'll try and finish it off next time. Um... And then later on this weekend, uh, we're not going to hit Metal Gear Solid 3 right away. I think we're going to try out a game that I've actually been wanting to do for a while. We're going to try out Sifu and uh, and see how that game is. I got it on PlayStation Plus a while back. I actually completely forgot it was free. Um, and my buddy was like, you didn't fucking tell me? I was like, I forgot, honestly. Um, so we're going to give that, we'll kind of break up Metal Gear's playthrough a little bit, because I don't want to immediately, because I still need to get, like I said, I still need to get my, uh, my cosplay stuff. So thank y'all everybody, uh, Metal, Bossy, uh, Aline, everybody who popped in. Uh, y'all have a good night. Thank you again for stream, uh, for stream time. I really appreciate y'all hanging out. And like I said, uh, we'll be back, uh, Saturday evening, and we'll pick up with some more. We might not... We may or may not be able to finish it in time. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. If I can get started early enough, we should be good to go. But uh, y'all have a good night. I'm going to go get some food and relax and lay down, watch some movies or something. And uh, I'll see y'all next time. So uh, anybody who's popped in that's new, follow the channel. All my stuff's below the stream to click for YouTube and all the good jazz. And yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Night, everybody. Also, y'all are amazing and awesome. I appreciate y'all. Thank you.